Hi everybody, this is another 99 second tip, planning your outline form for the class 2 amalgam, and I'm Dr. Stevenson. Let's take a look at a mandibular first molar and decide how we're going to approach this. We're going to identify the central pit, the mesial, and the distal pits, then we're going to draw a line to connect those pits, remembering of course that the fifth cusp is actually a cusp and needs to be followed. After identifying these areas, we're going to extend to the proximal area right down the middle of the contact and give ourselves an idea of the outline form. Well-designed arcs on the occlusal surface are really important to preserve the triangular ridges. Notice in these diagrams how the outline form is going around the triangular ridges and not cutting across them. Let's take a look at this live. In this demonstration here, I'm keeping in mind that the primary grooves are going to be followed and not the secondary grooves. It's really important for you to distinguish those from each other. Remember, secondary grooves are those that go up the cusp that create the triangular ridges where the primary grooves are separating the cusp from each other. Of particular importance is to realize that the distal cusp on a mandibular first molar should be respected as any other cusp. Okay, so let's remember, follow the primary grooves and preserve them with nice arc shapes. Make everything smooth and transition between those cusps and use the 330 burr. It's pretty ideal for this, although you're probably going to have to smooth with another burr like a 55 or 56. Slow speed can be really helpful. Excellence is achieved in small focused steps. Mm -hmm.